Another class uh, uh, of drugs, not so commonly uh, prescribed uh, by uh, physicians uh, because they have GI side effects, are the alpha-glucosidase uh, inhibitors. And the one that's been available for the longest period of time uh, in the United States is called Arcabos. Uh, it's given uh, anywhere from a dose of 25 milligrams to 200 milligrams. The average dose is uh, about 100 milligrams. It's given three times a day uh, with the meal. Uh, and this is what we call a starch blocker. It uh, blocks the ability of the digestive enzymes to break down starch and carbohydrate in the gastrointestinal tract. So if you break down the, uh, the carbohydrates, this releases glucose that gets absorbed into the bloodstream. Your blood sugar level goes up. If I block uh, the ability of these uh, enzymes uh, to break down the uh, starch, uh, the glucose uh, uh, does not uh, uh, appear in the stomach uh, until uh, uh, much later down into the distal parts of the bowel uh, and uh, gets uh, excreted. So you're wasting calories, uh, so to speak, uh, in uh, the stool. Uh, the major side effects are related, of course, to the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, people get uh, loose bowel movements. Uh, they can get crampy abdominal uh, discomfort. Uh, they get uh, a lot of flatulence. And uh, because of these side effects, uh, many patients uh, find it difficult to tolerate uh, the drug. It has modest uh, uh, effectiveness. It's not, in my opinion, uh, as effective as the major classes of drugs uh, which uh, should be used, uh, which uh, are metformin, uh, the thiazolidine dions, uh, the GLP-1 analogs, and the DPP-4 uh, inhibitors. Uh, there's another drug uh, in this class uh, called uh, myglitol, uh, but this uh, drug is prescribed and used even less frequently uh, than Arcabos. Uh, in patients in the United States.